Hey everyone again, I uh, just wanted to do another quick video on the Chapman's points. Um, it's just going to be another video covering OMEN material, especially um, high yield material that you'll see on your COMLEX or even on a regular OMEN exam. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I want to give props to uh, another video which I'll link down in the description. Uh, the guy who showed this, I just wanted to make it in sort of a cleaner format than something that was drawn. Um, Anyways, yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and get it started. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and number a piece of paper from 1 to 12, and then go ahead and draw 10 lines. Sorry, this is going to take a moment. All right, so once you have your 10 lines, you want to go ahead and draw two smaller lines at 11 and 12 on both sides. Two smaller lines. And what this is basically going to represent are the ribs. All right, so uh, the next thing you want to do is go ahead and draw another line. What am I going to do? Just flip this one from 1 to 10. And this is just going to represent your sternum. All right, we're almost done. Uh, let's go ahead and draw in some clavicles very quickly. too big. All right. And then we want to go ahead. Now, what do we have underneath the ribs? We, we have a belly button. And then Right underneath that, we have our pelvis. Let's make it like this. And I like to make it the pelvis look like a brim. So I go ahead and just draw it just like this. Just simply just straight lines. So as you can see here, the, the lines are a lot easier than if you've seen the um, visceral somatic um, video. It's, it's a lot easier here because you're actually drawing something anatomically that you understand. Um, so again, lines from 1 to 10, smaller lines at 11, 12. Go ahead and draw your brim for your pelvis. Go ahead and get your belly button in there and oh, let's not forget your clavicles okay so now this is going to be the part that you're going to have to memorize other than what goes where but um, it's going to be what where you put the dots um, and these are going to represent the Chapman's points and, and keep in mind we're talking about anterior only and I'm only doing uh, the ones that correspond to what you'll find in the ribs um, as far as uh, we'll get there, but whenever we're talking about the uh, the, the colon and um, in the prostate, we'll, we'll talk about that uh, at, at the end of this video. Um, so the first thing that I do is I start at the second intercostal space. So you start right here, you skip the first one, go straight to the second intercostal space, and you draw a dot right there, right near the sternum. Then you go ahead and skip down two intercostals, and then you just draw three dots all the way down. Okay, and then you're going to do the same thing on the other side, but those two that you skipped, you're going to go ahead and draw dots there. 
And in my opinion, whenever it comes to naming these, and everybody's a little bit different, but I find them actually pretty easy because if you just if you just sort of walk down the body, it makes sense. Like it, these points are gonna be exactly where you think you would find them, like it's corresponding to what viscera. Um, okay, so next thing you wanna do is you're gonna go to the mid clavicular line and you're gonna draw three other dots. And you're gonna do the same on the other side. All right. And then you're going to go ahead and put one at the tip of 12. And you can guess what this one's going to be. Um, and I'll give it away because it's such a surprise. It's going to be the appendix. Um, all right. So I like, since I'm already down here, I like to go ahead and finish off um, the bottom part. Uh, the only reason why I do that is because the up here is it's a little bit um, more in, detailed. So let's go ahead and finish this while we're here. But go ahead and draw four dots. And these will correspond to one inch above the belly button and to the left and right. They're going to be bilateral. So you're going to just draw four dots like in a square fashion. All right. And then you're going to draw one. I like to draw one right in the middle. All right. And then you're going to draw one right on the pubic ramus bilaterally. All right, so now you have pretty much all of your Chapman's anterior points set up and labeled. Um, the last thing you have to do is just do the ones in the, the upper intercostals. So let's go ahead and finish those off. So the first thing you're gonna do, and a really good uh, way of memorizing this is the ears are midline. So that's what this is gonna um, correspond to. Um, so this is when you just draw it right there at the midclavicular line, and then you go ahead and then finish it off. So you're gonna, there's no real easy way to memorizing this one. You just have to, um, I think of it more of like a dice. So whenever you're looking at the, the five on a dice, um, I just draw that right here, just like this. So you see how if you were looking at the five side of a dice, it sort of looks like that, even though it would be like that. I put it off over here. Um, I don't know why I think of it like that, but I just do. Um, and so, yep, that's all of your Chapman tender points. And so now the last thing we have to do is just uh, fill, fill these in. All right, so let me get this to the right size. So we'll go ahead and start right here, right where we began. So this is going to be the heart. And you can even draw a little heart sign right there. All right, and then you have this is these two points right here are going to be the stomach. However, this one's going to correspond to acidity, and this one to motility. All right, and then what do we have on the left side? We have the spleen, and just like the guy says in the videos, what do you have? On the right side of the spleen, you have the pancreas. So as you can see, we're just sort of rounding the body now. We're sort of coming around second base. And now we're, we're going to go ahead and come up. So right here, um, I like to do this one first because it just reminds me that this one's going to be the liver. And since the liver is so big, it takes up two spots. However, this one also corresponds to the gallbladder. All right. And then you're left with these right here. So right here, this one's going to be sort of a mouthful, but it's going to be the bronchus, the thyroid, the esophagus, and the myocardium. So again, I haven't found any way of really memorizing that in any simple way. Um, just have to take it as it is. It's better, I mean, it's better than just memorizing a whole bunch of points um, for your exam, in my opinion. All right, so we'll leave it like that. And then we have these last two points right here. And so what these are gonna 
B is the upper lung and the lower lung. So I'll just fill those in. Upper lung and lower lung. All right, so and so we finished off these anterior tender points. Um, this is a, a, the bulk of the material. And uh, once we finish these down here, you're pretty much set. Um, so now let's go ahead and finish this off. So these three right here, all of them, I just put a big bracket off to the side, but all of them correspond to the small intestine. So I just put a big box or you can circle all of them, but that's pretty easy. And like I said before, this one at the tip of 12 is the appendix. All right. And then we have the ones around the belly buttons, and this is just coming down the adrenal uh, or the, the general urinary, urinary tract. Um, and so you're going to have the adrenals. You're going to have the kidneys. And what do you have underneath the kidneys? You got the bladder. All right. And then finally, down here, right at the bottom, you finish it off with ovaries and urethra. Might have like a, a little bit extra stuff, one especially when we get up here. All right. So this is, you're pretty much done. You're in the clear. Um, especially you'll if you've looked at the, the OMT Green Book, this is going to cover most of what you need to know for Chapman's points. Um, so let's go ahead and finish this picture off. So as I said before, this one's going to be ear. And you would think, a lot of people think ear, nose, throat, but this one, don't get that into your mind because this is actually ears, no pharynx. So sort of like throat, but not quite. And then this one right here is tonsils. And then this one right here is going to be, I put tongue and larynx because they're pretty close next to each other just riding the, the brim of the sternum and then we have this last one right here which are just sinuses all right and so we are done so basically not really sure how the question will be asked on um, the boards, but these would be correspond to every single um, Chapman's points that you didn't know, such as the heart is located between ribs two and three or the second intercostal space. Um, these are very high yield. Um, again, memorizing where the dots are is going to be your hardest hurdle, and then just walking yourself down the body um, will, will get you to where you need to go. But I really hope this was helpful. Um, I'm also going to link in the, the video where the guy explains his own way of doing it and also my visceral somatics video um, and I hope this again was helpful.